following feature has been rated PG by the Motion Picture Association of America. Parental guidance is suggested. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I got like one compliment on this mic thing and I wanted more, but honestly that was more than enough for me to keep it going. I'm loving the mic thing, but I, I have my laptop this time. See? Look, I'm recording the audio levels live. And then you know it's real. You know what else is real? The really cool things you're able to find over the last couple of weeks out there at some thrift stores, some game stores, and everywhere in between. So guys, check it out. My apologies to the chef. I couldn't get a lot of footage in there uh, just because I was the only person and it was getting kind of weird. But we did pick up uh, the Brody Lee figure. Rest in peace, my bud. And then, of course, uh, we asked behind the counter. We got Batman the Telltale series. I don't even know the comps on it. I, uh, I paid 18 and if it's uh, a bad flip, I'm just going to keep it because that one was one of the cool interactive ones. I miss those Telltale games. I know they're kind of trash towards the end, but I miss them. We're going to hit up a few more stores, though, so uh, let's see if Five Below is any games today. So that was a bad hit. If you guys saw that, that XCOM game, I thought it was gonna double because uh, it was. Uh, I was gonna get it for five, and I could uh, flip it for ten because it's sealed. But uh, the sealed was absolutely destroyed on the back, and there's no extra copies. So life rolls on. I was gonna say that everybody knows that the gamers really do shop at Five Below, but today they've proved me wrong. What's up, everybody? We're back out here again. Another Facebook find. I was scurrying around on Facebook like a little bit, like a little chipmunk. I was looking for deals, you know, little chipmunk deals. And I found a really crappy looking copy of Spy Hunter for PS2. And so I had to, I was just curious, so I kept looking. Turns out this woman had a ton of gaming stuff, just all weirdly priced and things. So I asked her, how much for everything? $45. I think it totaled up to like 75 when I looked at everything. So she just give me 30 bucks off if I just got left with everything. And so I said yes. Came here from work and I'm excited to go get this box full of stuff. So all of the games from this woman that I'm buying, uh, she sent me the address, but the address is like in an apartment complex and there's no parking. So I gotta like run around here and look for the, look for the right door. This is, uh, this is wild. Hi. Hello, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. We got everything like in a box. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye. Alrighty. I got all the stuff. I already lost all the bags. Oh, the bag's gone. The bag is rolling. Uh, I got the bag. Alright, so we got a runaway bag. Uh, no biggie. But I got a giant box full of stuff. It's kind of awkward, but we made it through. Now I gotta run back up this hill. Oh God, you guys know the wind. If you can hear the wind right now, the wind is pretty bad, I'll admit. Now let's see, oh yes, we made it, perfect. Hey, I kind of just had to hop in the car really fast because that car was coming, so, but, Wow, I'm really out of breath, but I got everything in here. This entire box is $45. Needless to say, the profit margins had these around a dollar a piece per thing. It was 42 items for $45. And honestly, I'm about those numbers. So let's cl we'll clean up some of this stuff and we'll see if we got any gems in this box. Alrighty folks, so we found, we, we got this copy of Spy Hunter, all right? That's the most important part about this. I'm opening it up. It's looking pretty gross, but checking out the disc, not bad the disc ain't bad that's totally fine by me and we'll see how everything else turns out in here's a, a bunch of ps3 stuff which i'm more or less excited for especially the ps3 camera which i saw was included i'm excited to check that out and uh for a dollar the ps3 camera for a dollar is a really good deal that's for sure 
Oh, sheesh, the wind is still going here. But uh, it's savers time, folks. Y'all know what time it is, because I just told you. It's savers time. All right, the two Lego games right there. And then the, let's see, Tony Hawk over there. And then I'll do the, the game party right next to it too. Um, I think that's every, uh, I'll check the, the other Call of Duty right there just in case. That one, yeah, thank you. And then I was wondering what you guys had on the prices for the, the Sonic game and the little big planet game on the top left. I'd be like, buy like three bucks or two bucks. Sure, that works for me. Yeah, I'll grab that one. How much is that? Cool. Works for me. The, uh, okay, that Beyond game. No, that just looks cool. I don't think I have that one yet. Yeah. You know what? What do you do for this guy? It's all kind of okay. Sure, works for me. Alrighty, so after doing some research, turns out this is a dud right here. 18 bucks for this game was not a good <laughs> was not a good deal. I did not. I should have done better research. Honestly, it was kind of in the moment. Uh, and also, like, it didn't even come with a book. So, like, I'm even losing out even more. But thankfully, folks, so we're going to return this game back into GameStop. And we're going to get a... But hopefully a different game, something that's that's a lot better for profit. See, my thought was that like since Telltale does like the games are gonna start spiking up in price, because uh, I, I have bought a few Telltale games from time to like just in case things happen like that. But this is a no go yet. All right, so we just got out of there. They didn't have one of the games that I wanted that was on clearance, uh, G.I. Joe, which was going for around like 20 bucks. It was about to score for five. They couldn't find it in there. But we did pick up three Xbox Series X games for about $8 <laughs> after all of it. And he gave me like nine bucks back. So we were able to turn that crappy game that we accidentally made a mistake on into three bangers. We should turn these three games into about $22 worth of profit if my numbers are correct, which is way better than the $8 loss we were gonna take earlier. Note to self, never stick your hand inside of a uh, Thanos gauntlet glove thing at a Savers without buying it first or making sure it's clean because that was uh, that was gross. I'll get you right back. Yeah, there we go. Of course. Yeah, so after applying way too much hand sanitizer after my hands got stuck, and then Infinity Gauntlet back there, we were able to come out with this, as I showed, this giant stack of games here, all for about two to three bucks a piece. Some bonus games in there too, I noticed while I was picking them out. So I'm very excited. Uh, we ended up paying with the $5 coupon, you saw 20 bucks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. Pretty excited about that. We'll show you guys everything when we get back to the house because this is our final stop of the video. All right, we're back in the room. 
We got everything from all of these different finds that we had. We had the Facebook one. We had a couple, believe it or not, a couple of them from the same savers. Who would have thought it would have taken me this long to film this episode? Either way, let's get everything unpacked. Let's get it organized. And let's get into it. Wow, okay, I have to zoom out even more. All right, so this is everything that we got from this episode. Wow. All right, let's 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 try to break this down. So from our first stop, we did keep the Brody Lee action figure, RIP to the man. Uh, we ended up with the $5 off with the GameStop. We got it for about 16 And when we traded that Batman game back in, we grabbed three Xbox Series X games all on clearance for about 8 bucks total. So here's everything we picked up from Savers over the last week or so. We grabbed the first three Karaoke Revolution games. We grabbed two Need for Speed games earlier. We grabbed Lego Pirates in the first trip along with Puss in Boots. And then we got a few Wii games. I'm very excited for Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam though. That's the one of the few Tony Hawk's I've never played. We also grabbed World at War and Modern Warfare 3, as well as this loose case with Sims 4 for the Xbox One as well as NHL Legacy Collection for the 360. From the pawn shop, we grabbed these seven titles, which was absolutely insane. I believe the total was about $14. So seven games, $14, that's a heck of a deal. We grabbed these four loose games with WWE 2K20 being the big winner of the four. And then we got three PS3 games for three bucks a piece and this steelbook for Beyond Two Souls. Of course, the slip cover's got a little bit of wear and tear on the front, but the disc is absolutely crisp on the inside. I also want to give a big shout out to Brandon and JL for helping me out here. They gave me two PSP games for free, including God of War, Ghosts of Sparta, which if you look it up, it's a pretty good game to get for free. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. And finally, this giant lot of stuff here for $45 that we grabbed on Facebook. I already cleaned everything up, we wet wiped everything, we, we sanitized it down, and now everything's good to get into. We got these two original PS1 controllers, one with the DualShock, one without, obviously. So it's got a little bit of wear and tear on the joystick, but still pretty cool to come up with for about two bucks a piece, not even, as well as a PS1 memory card, which always does good stuff. We got a ton of Disney Infinity characters, some of the highlights being the Star Wars trio over there, Toe Mater. I just realized Stitch is missing his arms, so uh, I don't know what to do with this. Either way, grabbing all of these Disney Infinity characters for about a buck to two bucks a piece is going to be a great deal and an easy turnover. Four Skylander discs, which surprisingly can be hit or miss. A bunch of PS3 gems, but most importantly, the PlayStation 3 camera. Alrighty, so nothing too huge as far as major profits, as far as major jumps go this time. But either way, I'm pretty excited with what we were able to come away with over the last week or so. Um, I'm just excited to get rid of all of these Disney Infinity characters. So if you guys want to help me get rid of these, feel free to buy anything that you saw in this episode over there we got all the links mercari whatnot ebay i have to pump a lot on ebay nowadays i know i was saying i was getting i was getting lower on it i'm not anymore i gotta stay with it it's selling like hotcakes right now ebay is a hot market i'm just gonna say it but if you want to just hang out with me and not really spend that much money follow where my elbow just went over to my instagram we can hang out you can see the youtube shorts that i've been pumping out on this channel over there first as instagram reels too either way guys thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time with another amazing high quality video from me